So this is the app I built, an AI tweet generator. You just enter a topic here, for example, I built an app in 10 minutes. And then simply you click on this button, generate tweets. You just wait for a couple of seconds and powered by AI, we will get three tweets ready to publish. You can copy and publish on X or any platform you want. In this video, I will show you step by step practically how in just 10 minutes you can build your own custom mobile app, native app for both iOS and Android without coding, only using AI and three power prompts I created for you. You can follow up and you'll have your own mobile app running today. If you are ready, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So step number one is to understand the structure of the mobile app in just 30 seconds. So what's happening here simply, this is the user interface, the mobile app, the UI, the front end, call it whatever you want. When someone clicks on generate tweets, what's happening here is we are contacting with our backend, our API, that thing that generates the tweets with AI and returns back to our app to load them and present them in this professional way. So in short, when we develop any application, whether a mobile app or a web application, we have two parts. We have the front end, the user interface that communicates with the back end where the logic happens. So now in step number two, we will start building the back end first, testing it, then moving and building the user interface or the mobile app. So first, what I will do is I will create a new WordPress website to act as the back end of my mobile app. Yes, WordPress, don't panic. You will see now the power of WordPress in this approach. So here I'm using Coolify to create free WordPress websites. It's super simple. WordPress and deploy. I use Coolify with my self-hosted server so I can create unlimited websites for free. In your case, you just need a WordPress website. You can even use a local website for testing if you want. So I'm done. But I have now this WordPress website. Perfect. I will tell you in a little bit why WordPress, but please for now, follow up for a few seconds. Then go here to plugins. Go to add a plugin and search for code snippets. Don't worry, you will not write any code. You will just copy and paste the prompts I'll be giving you. Then install this plugin, code snippets, and activate. Perfect. Now, if you go here to snippets, we can add a new snippet. I will call it the back end. Step number three is open the link in the description and you will get this prompt on SimpleLM, this prompt. This is the first power prompt you will use. Just click here on copy template. And now let's open Cloud AI and simply paste the prompt as it is. And here say my idea. So what tool you wanna build? In my case, I will say I want to build a tweet generator app that generates three tweets based on user input. So this is the idea you wanna build. Enter. Now what will happen that Claude will ask you some questions to verify something about your application. For example, do you want to include hashtags, include emojis, whatever. Now to make things simple, I just want to create the three tweets based on user input. That's all. So we are just telling it what do we want, what app we want. And we will get now the full backend code. All you have to do now is click on this copy button, copy it, go back to your website, to this snippet, and paste the code as it is here. Remove this PHP from the top and activate. Perfect. The back end is ready. Let's test it. Open powerkit.dev and go here to API tester. And if you go back to my AI output, you will see it will also tell you how to test this API. You see, it gives you the endpoint URL and the request body. So I will get my website domain, paste it here, then simply get this endpoint, paste here and change to post. You see it says here post. And then this is the input. I will copy it and go to the body section here, paste and let's click on send. And you will see we got the response, the tweets with the content and the character count. So now the back end is ready and we can go to step number four and build the UI. 
Now we'll use the second power prompt. Again, go to the link in the description. You'll find this prompt here. Generate full WordPress UI short code. Just copy it. Go again here to Claude and let's open a new chat. Keep this one open, open a new one and paste the prompt here and go up. You will see here two inputs, the response and the curl. What you have to do here is simply copy the endpoint URL, paste it here and then add some space and paste the response body this way. And then in the example response, just paste the output you got. This is the example response here. I will copy it and paste in the example response. That's it. Now let's see the magic run. And again, we'll get the full code. Just copy it, go back to your WordPress website, and then go here to all snippets, add a new snippet and call it the UI and paste it here. That's all. Activate. Then you will see here we have at the end, we have this short code here. Just copy it, add a new page to test it. Anything, test, and then short code, add the short code and publish. Publish, and let's open it. And perfect, we got this AI tweet generator. If you now enter a topic, three tips for better education, anything, generate tweets. You can see now we have a full application working on WordPress. And this is my secret in building tools like on Promoter Kit, building like full micro SaaS or SaaS on top of WordPress and monetizing with the point system. And by the way, if you want to learn how I do this step by step and for free, I have a full course on Skillshare on building AI tools on WordPress and monetizing them. So you can have your own micro SaaS on top of WordPress. In this course, I share the code snippets, templates, everything you need to have your own tool in a couple of minutes up and running on top of WordPress. You can also check my other course on building AI agents from scratch. Skillshare is one of the largest online learning communities out there with thousands of classes covering almost everything from design, illustration, to marketing, business, freelancing, and even programming and development. There's something for everyone. Now, the best part is that the first 500 people to join Skillshare using the link in the description below will get free access to all the classes on Skillshare for one month, totally for free. What are you waiting for? Go now, start learning, dedicate every day at least 30 minutes to learn something new. In one month, you will change your life. The most important thing to do today is learning. Go now and shape your future. Now let's get back to work. So we have now the back end and the UI running on WordPress, but we don't want web application. We want a mobile application. And no, we are not going to turn this into a web app with a web browser. Of course, no, are we going to build a native application like this? From now on, please focus very well. This is the most important part. We're going to build the mobile application. But before that, I want to answer an important question. Why we chose WordPress to build the backend? What's the point? Simply because we want to build the application quickly. And WordPress have built-in APIs, built-in security, built-in database, built-in dashboard, so we can utilize the power of WordPress or what we call headless WordPress, because in our case, we're using it just as a backend and we can focus only on building the UI of the mobile app without worrying about security or other stuff. This is why I used WordPress for quick development. So now in step number five, you are going to build the mobile application. In the description below, you will find a link to download this zip file, the mobile app starter. Just go there and extract it, download and extract, and you will have these folders. What you will do simply is open VS code. If you don't have it, just install it free and simple installation. Then go here and click on open folder and go to this folder we downloaded in this directory and click on select folder to open the project. Trust, yes, simple. Now go to the terminal section. 
new terminal and simply run this command npm install now for this to work you need to have node.js installed on your pc if you don't just go to node.js here website and click on download it's free just install it it's very simple i don't want to waste time on this now just install it then come back here and run this command wait for a few seconds perfect that's clear now run this command npx expo start this will start our mobile application so we can test it perfect you get a url you can test it directly in your browser i will grab this link i will open firefox paste it here enter this is just for testing we are building here a native react mobile application with expo so this is the application we have the profile section home settings this is just a template like a starter to use when building your mobile app if we click on Control shift m we can see this is in a mobile view anyway so the project is up and running let's exit Control c and now what you are going to do simply is go here to the extensions section and install an extension called the client there's an ai coding agent inside vs code i use it to develop all my applications so install it then you will see it right here open it go to the settings section here and connect with anthropic with cloud you can select cloud opus uh, or cloud sonnet opus is somehow more expensive just select the models now grab a third power prompt i have for you to build a full mobile app, just copy it, go back to VS Code here, and just paste it here, and click on Plan, go up, and you'll see again, we have a place for the endpoint details and the API response, as we did when building the WordPress UI. So again, I will go grab the API details, paste it here, and grab the example response, and paste it here and in this prompt if you go down here you will see that we have optional section i use it always what i do is i paste the output we got from prompt number two so if you go here you will see this output the ui we got i use it as an inspiration for the ai to build the ui based on it so i will paste the WordPress shortcode or the UI we created in step four and run. The first step is planning. And now Claude will start analyzing this startup project with the prompt we used to plan the full mobile app for you. Just with a couple of seconds. Perfect. It finished planning. As we mentioned always when you are vibe coding, it's very important to read the output and see if you want to change anything. Then simply click on act now ai will start creating and generating the full code for your mobile app based on our back end let's wait a couple of seconds maybe a couple of minutes and perfect task completed and the full mobile app was created now again to run the application say npx expo start again as i mentioned it will give you the local url so you can test directly in your browser let's do this again copy this open firefox and open it and you will see the tweet generator app you see that's it and to run on your mobile what you have to do simply is to install on your mobile an application called expo and then scan this qr code and will automatically open it with the expo application it will load it will take like a couple of seconds the first time then you will see our application is up and running let's test it i built a mobile app in 10 minutes generate tweets it's generating let's wait a little bit and perfect we got the result now what i will do is to use the same approach to build mobile applications for both tubedigest.com and definewise if you don't know it, to digest is a simple tool to generate summaries and content based on YouTube video. It's totally free. You can just go now and test it. And define why is an application I built for my kids. It's like a visual dictionary and the planning also turned into a mobile application.
I'm excited to see what you are going to build. Try it yourself. If you face any problem, I'll be here to help you anytime. Just join our public free forum and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions and chat with you. If you learned something new today, and I think you did, smash the like button and see you in the upcoming videos.